I'm going to share these two things with you, friend. Grab a pencil, write this down, because I believe these two words have the potential to change every relationship you're a part of. And here are the two words, affirm and acknowledge. Affirm and acknowledge. So matter, no matter the situation that comes up, whether, again, it's a, a friend, a coworker, a neighbor, a loved one that comes to you with a concern, with a challenge, with just needing a word of encouragement, this is what I want you to do. I want you to affirm and acknowledge. So what do I mean by that? First, affirm. I want you to like sit in their shoes and say things like, wow, that's hard. Are you right? Wow, that stinks. Or, wow, that is disappointing. Wow, that's hard. Sit in their shoes and affirm their feelings. Number one, affirm of affirm and acknowledge. Will you share some hearts if you're paying attention, if this is helpful to you? So the next time a friend comes to you, I want you not to try to fix it, not to think of a Bible quote that you can share back. I want you just to just listen to how they're feeling and affirm their feelings. Affirm, wow, exactly. And don't think about what I would do. And I think, Paula, that's a good point. I think the hardest thing for us is we're thinking about us and what we would do. We want to just sit in their shoes and affirm back what we heard them say. Wow, that stinks. Affirm and acknowledge. Then the second thing that I want us to do, acknowledge. And if you wrote the word acknowledge out, you will see. In fact, could somebody do that in the comments for us? Write out that word acknowledge. And then we're going to see four letters. K. N-O-W, because in the midst of the word acknowledge is the word know. So we want them to know that they matter, know that their feelings matter, know that we are not thinking about ourselves, that we are thinking about them, know that we are listening. So we're going to affirm, thank you, Wendy, we're going to affirm their feelings and then we're going to acknowledge that they matter. So what does this look like? So a friend says, I just found out that I lost, my hours were cut. So what, how do we affirm them? Wow, that, that's hard. Wow, that stinks. And you know what we don't have to do? We don't have to say, I remember when that happened to me. Just sit in their shoes and affirm, wow, that's hard. And then remember that word no. So affirm and the next, next acknowledge, wow, know that you matter. Know that I'm here for you. Know that you're not alone. Know that your feelings matter to me, and any time you want to talk about this, I am here for you. You call me. Affirm and acknowledge. Here's what I don't want you to say, friends, and take, I learned this the hard way. I don't want, ooh, my hair's all over the place. Sorry, friends. <laughs> I don't want you to say, I know what you're going through even if you do. Because remember, this is not about you. This is about them. Some of you know in my story, my fiance was killed. It was a number of years ago now, but it was two weeks before Christmas and it was five months before our wedding of anxiety. And my life was turned upside down. And when people would come to me and say, oh, I know what you're going through. My dog died last month. I would want to sh shake them or scream or kick them or something and be like, you know what I'm going through, really? Do you have a wedding dress ha hanging in your closet that you don't know what to do with? Do you have an engagement ring on your finger and you don't know, do you take it off, do you wear it, what do you do? No, <laughs> thank you, Robin. So even if you think you know what they're going through, with the example I just shared about a job, hours cut, even if that happened to you, remember, affirm and acknowledge them. This is about them. They called you because they want you to speak words to them. Affirm and acknowledge. Again, affirm, affirm how they feel. Yup, that stinks. Yup, that's hard. Wow, that is disappointing. And then acknowledge. I, I, wow, know that you matter to me. Know that I am here for you. Know that you're not the first person, and I'm going to journey with you. You're not the first person that has to go through this, but you are not alone. You know, look for his hand. Maybe encourage them, look for his hand. And if you're thinking, but Cindy, I don't want my friends to stay stuck. I don't want them to stay. So after you affirm and acknowledge, maybe ask them some questions, like to empower them. So how are you going to get through the rest of the day? Thank you, Robin. 
or one time here's another example one time this meeting that I had been looking forward to for a long time it was canceled two hours before this meeting with a publisher that I had been waiting for for months canceled I was so angry I was so hurt so I called a friend in another state and I was crying and she said wow Cindy this does stink this is disappointing know that I'm here for you and then you know what she said Cindy how can we praise God right at this moment are you kidding me? I don't want to praise God. I want to be mad. But that simple question helped me not be stuck. And I felt like Paul and Silas and we were sitting in the midst of a prison cell. But we would continue to praise God even in the midst of the disappointment. So affirm and acknowledge. Those are the two main words I want you to remember. But then maybe ask the question, how can we praise God? How can you choose joy in the midst of this? How can you make it through this next hour? How can you find peace in the midst of this situation? Affirm and acknowledge. Sit in their shoes. Even if you've been through a hard time, this is not the time to say, I know what you're going through. 